What's going on, you two bitch ya boy? Cam ATL and welcome back to another Price Picks video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for joining me as always. Comment anything in the comment section and enter your name into the $50 giveaway I do every single week on this channel. All that good stuff. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. It's super duper early in the morning. I woke up and was ready to just come in here and get this video done. Um... That intro just fucking gave me life, though. Just gave me energy. I'm ready to go. I was I was feeling a little tired. Did my intro, and I feel good, man. I wish y'all could see me as I do my intro. I'm flailing my arms and all types of shit. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for joining me as always, man. PropsMadeEasy.com. You already know everything about Props Made Easy by now. It is literally a site to make props easy. Um... Our new plus EV plus projection models have really been changing the game. Um, we have plus EV plus projection on any sports that we're able to get enough data on to feel comfortable with their projections. Um, obviously, we're partnered with the biggest sports data company in the entire industry. Um, and so we're getting the best possible information we can. But on some sports, um, there's just not a ton available when it comes to data like that so if we don't have enough data for our team to feel good about like having projections for a sport we don't do it and we just keep it plus ev so you're either getting plus ev plus projection or plus ev plus projection over here at pros made easy no matter what you'll be pointed in the direction of the best plays every single day and guess what the best part is it's not $50 like these other places $60 $40 even it's $15 a month when these the owners of Pros Made Easy came to me, they're not even heavy in the sports industry. Like you wouldn't not even know their names. You would not even recognize their names, right? They're not heavy in the sports industry, but they were like viewers of mine over the years, and they were two uh, two guys that are friends with each other. They came to me and was like, "We really love your stuff. We've been watching your stuff. We would really love if like you would be a part of something with us. This is our idea." And I was like, "Okay, yeah, I like the idea. This is what I also recommend that you guys do." And all this, we came into conversation. Eventually, they worked me into being a partner with them, and we here we are. We spent so many days on the phone for the longest time coming up with ideas and how we're how we want things to go to make it as easy for regular people to have success in player process we possibly can and to give them the most accurate information as possible i didn't want to just have our group of people just kind of put together projections no i told them hey if we're going to do this let's do it and let's partner up with one of the biggest companies we can possibly find we found them and we partnered up with them and we're bringing the best data we possibly can in the industry when it comes to our projection data. And then on top of that, we're adding EV, adding these plus EV plus projection models. I was the one who came up with that idea, by the, by the way. You know, yeah, y'all can clap for me if you would like to, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so I, I just feel like plus EV plus projection is something where it just checks off even more boxes. At the end of the day, in an industry where sometimes no matter what you do, you're still going to lose. The best thing you can do is check off as many boxes as you can. You know what I mean? Make sure you're not missing anything. Just play the best guys in the best spots and live with the outcome. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and get into it today, y'all. So first, before I go into, we're going to start off with NFL. Before I get into this, MLB doesn't have a ton of props up at the moment. It's only a three-game slate, so there's not a lot available on prize picks right now. So we're going to come to, we're going to do MLB as the last sport that we do. So I'm, I'm hoping that there's more that's dropped on prize picks by the time we get to it. So let's do everything else and then come back to baseball. All right. Starting off with NFL, baby. All right. Plus EV plus projection. So one of the most important things you can do is become a Props Made Easy member so that you have access to the tools 24-7. Because when lines drop, you are able to immediately get the value before they bump. Okay, the best part about it, and you're able to grab the value before they bump the good ones, the ones that actually have the best shot of hitting. You feel what I'm saying? So you're getting in on every, I'm talking CSGO, League of Legends, Dota, anything you could possibly imagine, tennis, college football, everything. If you're a Props Made Easy active member, you're able to get these things the moment they drop. I personally, the way I like to do things is I have Props Made Easy like bookmarked. You know what I mean? 
By the way, if you have Prosmate Easy membership, the best way to view it on mobile, we have it right here on every page. If you have an iPhone, there's a way to do it here. If you have a Samsung, there's a way to do it here. You want to look at it desktop mode. That way you can see the entire chart. And you don't have to, you know, mobile mode is hard to see everything in one. You know, it's best to view it in desktop mode. Um, so if you're curious on how to do that, we have information on every single page on how to do it because it's really easy. I keep my phone on desktop mode when it comes to Prosmate Easy, and it's so easy to view the tool and uh, utilize everything. So NFL, baby, let's get it. So as we can see, Daniel Jones is no longer the number one guy. When it comes to sportsbook differences, Mac Jones has come in and he has an 11 sportsbook difference uh, compared to the 10 from Daniel Jones. Um, he's projected 221.6. So yes, sportsbooks are 11 up. Projection is 6 up. That makes it plus EV plus projection. Um, we love Mac Jones over on passing yards. Daniel Jones still 19 projection differential. Look at this. If we sort by projection differential, Daniel Jones, Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, Kenny Pickett, these guys right here in this area right here. These, All these guys are 10 and above projection differentials. Najee Harris and above are 10 and above when it comes to projection differentials. Then you look right here and guess what? They're also sportsbook differential above. If you look right here, I mean, the biggest one you're going to have is Daniel Jones. He's going to be the highest sportsbook differential, the highest projection differential. If you average these two numbers together, he'll be the best play, play when it comes to combining them. Next up, you'll have guy, a guy like Trevor Lawrence. He's a seven sportsbook difference, projected at 13. Justin Fields is still a good play just because he's a one sportsbook difference. Just because he's a one doesn't mean anything. That's still positive on EV, and that's very positive on projection differentials. So still like the same guys that I like. Um, they're still the main guys that I'm interested in. I've talked about it. Every day, pretty much, we come in and talk about it. Daniel Jones is my number one when it comes to passing yards. Um, next up would be Mac Jones, probably, because that sportsbook differential is, is huge. It's the number one sportsbook difference you can ask for. Dak Prescott, the tool likes the under. By the way, it's got Dak. So I'm talking to the developer right now. I'm trying to work out with the developer on, on putting the tacos into these tools. Because there's a Dak Prescott taco, it's got his stuff in twice. It's just throwing off the system a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm working with the developer right now to actually add the taco number so that you guys know exactly like the sportsbook difference on a taco guy, stuff like that. Obviously, it's, it's a lot, though. So get the tacos in. Don't hesitate. Do your thing. But yeah, Dak Prescott's liked for the under um, on passing yards as a big, I mean, it's 12 sportsbook difference, minus 6.8 at projections, too. So not only does the EV represent that, but the projection also does. Um, but yeah, so if we take a look at the overall, Daniel Jones, my favorite passing yards guy, when it comes to receiving, it's still Mike Evans. Receiving yards over 55.5. Um, I can't remember early on in the week if this was lower than this or what, where the book has moved, but I know that I'm still on it from the tools. Um, and when it comes to rushing yards, it's I believe it's Najee Harris. Yeah, Najee Harris is the best rushing option on the entire week. All right, let's talk college football. We got college football today. Now, first and foremost, I don't know if the who plays today or who plays Saturday or whatever that's available on Plus EV right now. I'm going to talk about my favorite options and whether they play tonight or they play Saturday. I don't know. All right. All right. So first and foremost, at the top of the list, we have Jordan Houston for NC State. Rushing yards is at 57.5 on prize picks, 61.5 other places. That's a four sports book difference. So when it comes to the best value on, on college football right now, you have rushing yards and a few passing yards in here, but a lot of rushing yards value. Jordan Houston is going to be the guy we go over 57.5 as the first play. Um, for John Reese Plumley, we're going to go under on his rushing yards. If you look at the biggest under, you have the big, the next best value from the positive four down here for the over would be the under. For the minus four on John Plumley, UCF rushing yards. His prop line's at 49.5. Other sports books have him down to 45.5. So good value on the under 49.5 on prize picks. Um, yeah, and then Joseph Fangon Fag Fagnano for UConn passing yards is set at 160.5. Other places is 157. So nothing huge. But Jordan Houston really like his rushing yards over as the main main focal point there. FIBA, anybody for FIBA? All right, so for FIBA, we got a couple overs that are looking good. Evan Fournier and Nicolas Batum both play on France. 
Um, both of them are playable. For Evan Fournier's PRA is the best spot, over 23. Um, and then Nicholas Batum's points, over 9.5, are two of the best options. Well, two of the only plus EV options that you have available right now. No Dota at the moment. Baseball any more than before? Uh, a little bit more. We'll still wait and come back to it, though, all right? Maybe we'll look at some hitter fantasy score today. Obviously, that's not going to be plus EV or anything, but it's plus projection. We can take a look at hitter fantasy score. It's been a while since we've done that. We'll come back to it, though. All right. At the top of the list, when it comes to CSGO, we have HS for Orcs. Map 1 and 2 kills is set at 30. It's 32.5 elsewhere. All right, that's a 2.5 sportsbook difference, making it value at prize picks at 30 for the over. He's projected 31.47, a 1.47 differential on the over. So not only are sportsbooks ahead, but the projections ahead, making him plus EV, plus projection, baby. All right, next up, we have this minus two for cast 1N, but the projection differential is so close. But yeah, it doesn't matter, but it's so low. Let's take a look at projection differential and see like, okay, I like this a lot. Oh, that's Orcs, though. That's the same play we just did. Same team we just did, so we can't do that. Let's do this one. Wait, that's Orcs, too. God. <laughs> Every play, I'm like, ooh, I like that. Oh, Orcs. Ooh, ooh, I like that one. Orcs. So just go over on everybody Orcs, all right? That's that's the key to what we're finding out right now. Um, okay. All right. Here we go. Ninjas in pajamas. Hampus. For ninjas in pajamas, map one and two kills is set at 29.5. Other sportsbooks have them at 30.5. That's a one sportsbook difference. The interesting part is the 35.78 projection, a 6.28 differential. So whether you go off of sportsbook differential or you go off projection differential and then you match it with the highest one you see here, you can do either way. Okay? Either way. You really can. Um, the way that I'm finding the first one is HS going orcs over 30. And then the way I like to find the second one is by just looking at the differentials and then pretty much going with my top favorite differential from the different team, my top projection differential. That's also plus EV on the sports with different. Cause remember whether you go off of projection differential here and you sort this by the highest or you sort this by the highest, either way, all of them are plus EV plus projection. So you could do it either way, test out different ways. You know what I mean? And see what works best for you. Get a process going and see what works. But um, my first play is going to be the over on HS for map one and two kills. And then we're grabbing the over on Hampus for ninjas and pajamas. Map one and two kills. League of Legends. We got anything? Okay. We got a little bit. All right. For, for LOL, we have over on Frescoy for MCK. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I know nothing about League of Legends. I learned a lot about League of Legends while when COVID first hit and everything was shut down. I started playing esports and KBO and all that. Um, so I learned a lot then, but they're, these names I never heard of. Okay, I wasn't dealing with these guys <laughs> back then. But uh, hey, if it's plus EV, we want it. Free Scoy, MCK, map one through three kills. Price Picks has him at 10.5. He's 11.5 other places. That's a one sportsbook differential. So you could get him out of value. Both of these guys are value on the overs. And then the best under. As you can see, a minus one right here is going to be the under on 610. All right. Next up, WNBA. Ooh, is this for... Yeah, okay. We got some early plus EV plus projection on points today. All right. So we're going to go... Proje All of these are the same sportsbook differential. So we're going to go off of projection differential to differentiate. Dewana Bonner. Um, I don't know if you say her name Bonner or Boner. I'm just going to say Bonner because it's less, you know sexual for the video all right um point 17.5 prop line sportsbooks have her at 18 0 0.5 sportsbook differential all these girls right here are the same right there but her projection is 20.7 a 3.2 differential so over on Dewana, over on jordan canada for points both of them are the best options over on Dewana, over on jordan canada all right both have the biggest projection differentials when it comes to plus ev plus projection all right tennis the ladies came through for me yesterday, baby. Swept tennis yesterday. It was a fantastic day. And that is key. Listen, y'all. The day before yesterday, struggled on tennis. Okay? Yesterday, swept tennis. I made like $350, something like that. Didn't play too crazy, but made about $350 off tennis yesterday. Um, you got to just stick with it. This is a long-term game. You want to make money over, the, over a longer period. You don't want to just make it in one go and then lose the rest of the time you want to slowly but surely build that bankroll that's the whole point at the top of the list Ans Jabour 
Now, I don't know if these are men or women, okay? I don't know if this is a man or a woman. 21.5 on prize picks, 24.5 other places. So a three sportsbook differential. I love the over on Ons Jabor. Um, you could also go Greet and Marie. Both of these are solid options. Um, the, the three top options are right here. Ons Jabor, Greet, and Marie. The best one being Ons Jabor. If you're just trying to pair something in with like a six man that you're you're putting in today. Ooh, okay. We got some plus EV on UFC. Prospect Easy members, pay attention. Get this stuff in. A lot of members were talking about in the PME chat how they were able to come in and get these UFC uh, significant strikes early on at some really, really good plus EV spots, so make sure you're doing so. At the top of the list, we have Farid Basharat and Ange Lusa for significant strikes. Over 62.5 for Farid Basharat and over Ange Lusa at 72.5. Both of them are seven sportsbook differentials. They're both seven sportsbook higher on other places than they are on prize picks. So grab that value on the over on Farid and over on Ange, all right, on significant strikes. Both of them are fantastic spots, all right? Let's look at soccer. All right, we need the. We're still working on soccer. We're still working on soccer right now. All right, so can't do any soccer today. Is there any soccer on the slate? Let me see. Okay, we'll get some the soccer refreshed as soon as I'm done with this. All right, so let's go back to baseball. Finish off with some baseball. All right. So. All we have available right now looks like hits, runs, RBIs. We have some pitcher strikeouts, all that good stuff. We're going to get into it. So first play I want to talk about is Braxton Garrett for Miami against Washington. Pitcher strikeouts is set at 4.5. Vegas likes the over at minus 130, making it plus EV on the over. 5.24 projection, 0.74 differential, making it plus projection. So as always, that's the best way to attack it. Over on Braxton Garrett is the best option when it comes to that. All right. Um, next up. We have some other options when it comes to hits, runs, RBIs. Let's see. So when it comes to the matchup for Washington and Miami, Joey Manessis is going to be going against Braxton Garrett. Interesting. That's a minus 130 on the over. But I really like this spot for James Outman. I really like this spot for James Outman. I get it. He's going against Spencer Strider, who's good. But he just needs one hit, and he's not going to face Strider the entire game either. Let's look at unders. Nothing crazy sticks out on unders. All right, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. James, out from what we have available to us is a small slate, as you all know. Um, who's pitching for Detroit? Manning? Ooh, that's interesting for uh, Giancarlo. Man, there's some options today. I'm going to go with the top projection differential. It's a very solid projection on James Outman. So I'm going to stick with James Outman. James Outman's got the lefty-righty matchup um, at home in Los Angeles. I'm going to roll with it. Uh, I mean, a deep fly ball with a guy on third, and he scores a run, and we're good with him. You know what I mean? So James Outman's at 0 0.5. I'm going to go the over. Vegas likes the over, too, at minus 120, which makes it plus EV. And then the projection is 1.71. So really like James Outman on the over. Hits, runs, RBIs. And then Braxton Garrett on the over 4.5 pitcher strikeouts. All right? Quick, quick recap. We have the over. Let me highlight plus EV plus projection. We have the over on Mac Jones. Daniel Jones is two of the best options you can get when it comes to passing. Receiving yards. Mike Evans still at the top of the list. And then Najee Harris rushing yards over as some of the best value we have right now. College football. We have over on Jordan Houston rushing yards as my favorite over. And then my favorite under is under on John Reese Plumley under rushing yards. FIBA, I don't know if we have any FIBA available or not. There he is. All right. Um, yeah, we've got Evan Fournier and Nicholas Batum. Over on Fournier's PRA, over on Batum's points. Dota. Why is it struggling to pull this up right now? I don't get it. Let's give it a second. Let's give it a second on the recap because this is like maybe I'm going through shit too quickly right now. Hold on. Let me see. Let me refresh the page. All right. Okay. Here we are back. All right. Dota. Nothing was for Dota. Baseball we just talked about over on James Outman, over on Braxton Garrett. For CSGO, 
The favorite place for CSGO was over on HS for map one and two kills. And then we're going over on the biggest projection differential guy, which is Hampus, Ninjas in Pajamas, over map one and two kills. League of Legends. We have the over on Frescoy and then the under on 610, map one and three kills. WNBA, we actually have some. Crazy. Early on, we it's rare that we have plus EV plus projection early on when it just comes to points, but we do today. Dewana Bonner and Jordan Can Canada. For tennis, over on Anz Jabor, and then Greet and Marie are both solid options for the overs as well. UFC early plus EV that we have available is over on significant strikes for Farid and Ange. They're both seven sportsbook differentials, so those are very good plus EV spots on those two. And then for soccer, we are going to update the tool as soon as we get off here. All right, so pay attention to watch out for soccer as well. Thank you guys for joining me. As always, let's get this money today, baby. PropsMadeEasy.com. Join up. Only $15 a month. Let's get it. I'm out. Peace.